Hi everyone. So today I'm going to make six teacup bird feeders. I bought all these teacups and saucers at thrift stores. And all these beads I'm going to add for decoration. I bought these at Joanne Fabric. They were on sale uh, four for ten dollars. So they were like two fifty each. So that was a good deal. And I bought all these other items at Joanne Fabric too. But I found these items that I thought would be good for hanging and um, I'm going to see how that works. Okay, so I'm going to get started. For most of my bird feeders, I usually use JB Weld Clear Epoxy. That seems to work really well for me. And sometimes I'll use um, GE Silicone. That works well too. Okay, the first thing I'm going to start doing is restringing all of these beads. Right now it has a, um, a string inside of these, and I think that'll hold up okay, but I'm going to use wire instead because I think it'll hold up outdoors better. So I'm going to take these apart and just restring it really quick. Okay, here's the first one I restrung. I actually put this um, crystal looking one on the bottom here. So it almost looks like a raindrop. So that's the first one. It's going to go with this teacup. Okay, I rewired this one. I put a crystal drop on this one too. Now this one I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to glue these flowers back to back so it'll have a flower on each side. Okay, for this one I found some black beads and I put it in between these flowers. I thought that was pretty. So this will hang like this. Underneath it. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing these beads into these little candle holders. And what I'm going to do with these uh, candle holders is I'm going to glue these onto the bottom of the plate just to give it some more structure and just some more decoration. I'm going to glue this onto here on the bottom. And then I'm going to have the beads glued inside of here so it'll hang like that. That way it won't just be a plain plate and cup, which is fine too. I just like to fancy it up a little bit. So that's what I'm doing with these. So I'll glue the first one. I'm going to use epoxy. I curled up the wire a little bit and um, I'm going to put some epoxy into the bottom of here and just glue the bead into the bottom. Epoxy. I'm just going to pour it in here. I'm going to put the bead in here like this. And then I'm going to tape the top just to make sure it stays in the center while it dries.
For this one, it has a wider bottom to put the epoxy in, and the bead I, bead I want to stay right in the center. And it's kind of slippery, so what I'm going to do is put a little clay ball. This is Sculpey clay. I also use putty, and um, I'm going to just stick that on the bottom like that. And press it onto the bottom, and that'll make it stay in the center until the epoxy dries so it won't slide around. So, do that. Okay, for this one I found a little candle holder that I think will work for the bottom of this one, like this. And I'll glue the bead inside of here like that. Okay, so I have these all glued up, and I'm just going to let these dry overnight. And then I'll work on the teacups tomorrow. I'll put some more together. Okay, so I let these dry overnight. They're dry enough to where I can um, glue these to the bottom of the plates now. Okay, so they're all glued to the bottom of the plates, and I'm just going to let these dry overnight again. 
before I move them. And then tomorrow I'll flip them over and glue the cup onto the saucer. Okay, so I let these dry overnight and now I'm going to glue the teacups onto the plates. So I need to flip these over and I'm going to put them on top of these cups like this. So these plates can sit flat so I can put the cup, teacups on them. Okay, so for the teacups, um, what I'm going to do is glue them on their sides like this, and then the chain is going to hang on the handle um, onto a hook. So to glue the teacups onto the plate, I'm going to use GE silicone because it's thicker, and I think it'll help stay in place better because the epoxy is very thin. I just want it to be thicker, uh, thicker gel to hold it in place. And I'm also going to use clay balls on the sides to hold it up while the glue dries. I'll put one on each side. Put the glue right in the center, or the silicone. on the top and the back here. So I have these all glued up and I'll need to let these dry overnight and tomorrow I will put the chains on them and then they'll be finished. Okay. okay, these have dried overnight. I'm going to take these clay balls off. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the chains to go on these teacup handles so I'll have something to hang it with. Take these off. Okay, I took one of the chains out of the package. They're actually 48 inches long. 
So I'm going to um, separate these. I'll take out one of the links and um, probably make it about 15 inches long for each one. Okay, so I divided these up into 15 inch lengths. I got six of them. All right, so now I'm gonna finish up these chains. What I ended up using is a split ring. I attached to the bottom like this. I'll show you how I did it. And then a split ring here. And then I put another ring to hang it on like a shepherd's hook. And then to attach it to the teacups, I was going to use these lobster claws. This is for jewelry making. Um, but it actually didn't work because it doesn't open enough to fit it over the handle. So that wasn't going to work for me. So I went and bought oh, these spiners and they open up on both ends and I think this is going to work good. I'll attach one end to the handle and one to the hook. So I'll try that. I'm going to open up one of these rings a little bit. These little jewelry pliers come in handy. Try to open it like that. Otherwise the rings are kind of hard to open. At least for me. Let's see. Let's slide that over. Do that on the other end. Just like that. And then I have these other rings for the top. There, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and open up the S-binder hooks. Okay, looks like that. And this is real easy. You just squeeze it in like that and put the hook over the end and it closes. So, let me try it on a cup. Let's see how this works. Squeeze it open, put it over the handle. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the chains and then attach them to the teacups. And just to show you how these pliers work, you just kind of pull it out like that and then tuck the end of the pliers under it like that so it stays open. And then just slide the link on. There, so easy. Okay, I have all the rings attached and the S binders, and I'm going to go ahead and attach these to the cups. Okay, something that I thought of while I was making these is that since I have these teacups glued to the side of the saucer, it's going to be a little off balance when it hangs. So it's going to kind of tip forward. On my other teacup feeders I put um, three strands to balance it out. Um, so I think I'm going to have to do the same for this. Um, let me figure something out. I think I'm going to have to put two more uh, strands attached to the plate so it'll all balance out. Okay, I'm going to show you how I solved the problem of it being off balance. 
So I bought some more chain. It's uh, the Hildy and Joe chain. It's very inexpensive Fet Joanne fabric. And I cut two strands. And I bought some beads that have a wide opening like this. And I glued two onto here, onto each saucer. And I'm going to make the chain go into the bead. I'm going to glue it inside the bead like this. And that will help give it support. I'll have one on each side like this. Okay. I glued the beads onto these plates with um, GE silicone. And I'll probably follow up with putting a little more epoxy around the edges. Just to make sure it's secure. And I'm going to put epoxy inside the beads to glue the chains in there. So this will go in there just like that. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of silicone on top also. I think that'll help hold it in place because it's a gel. Let me try that. Now I'm going to do this tiny teacup. Some epoxy in the beads. Put a little silicone on top. Okay, so I went back and put extra epoxy around each of these beads and I also put a, a bead of glue on the front of the cup and the back of the cup just to make sure it holds up well. So I'll let these all dry for a little bit and then I'm going to hang them outside. The glue is a little bit messy, but there will be seeds on the plate so you won't see it. Okay, okay this is another teacup bird feeder that I made. And this is in another video where I show you how to make this. Um, since it's larger, I use these um, one hole straps that I glued on the edge. I'll show you what they look like. Let me see. It's called one hole strap. You find it in the electrical department. And they look like this. There's a hole in it so you can put the chain in. And then you just kind of glue it to the edge of the plate like that. And when the glue dries, you put the chain on it. And so far, it's holding up really well. I used a three strand chain that I bought on Amazon as a hook on the top and I spray painted this gold but yeah check out the previous video on how I made this one pretty easy but this is more heavy than the other so um, I think the beads will be fine for these because they're more lightweight we'll see how those hold up Okay, so here they are hanging outside. You can see what the beads look like hanging underneath. 
I like this black and white one with the flowers. And we've got the rose colored one with the big beads. And the white and red one with the little birds on it. And the red beads. And every one of these has a crystal on the bottom. It's not real crystal. It looks like crystal. This one is, I think is bone china. It's very thin. But really pretty color. And we got this red and gold one. I think this is really an espresso cup. It's not really a teacup. But I thought it was cute because it was tiny. And these beads look kind of Christmassy. And then this little tiny teacup, the gold and yellow. They're all so pretty. So what you do with a teacup bird feeder is you just tip it up and you pour the seeds into the cup and then just set it back down and the seeds spill out onto the plate. Okay, and here's the fun part. I'm going to give all of these teacup bird feeders away. So a lot of these have glue residue on here, but once you put the seeds on the plates, you won't even notice that. So I just wanted to let you know, they're not perfect, but they're still pretty. So I am going to give all of these away. So check out the description below to see how you can get one of these. I've given away all six. So I'm going to randomly pick six people. And I'm going to ship it to you for free. You pay nothing. I just want to give them away. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.